On the front line is an arcade tank simulation game. You play somewhere in the Russian front. The game doesn't indicate exactly where. As far as I can tell there's only two maps that span a total of six missions. The game can be finished in less than an hour. If you don't encounter bugs, and man this game have a lot of it. But let me mention what I like about it first. The game is between an arcade tank simulator and a realistic simulator. It is right in the middle. You start off controlling a T-34 tank, as well as two reserve tanks. You are only able to play as the Russian. It would have been nice if you can play as the German side. It would have aided the criminality short campaign. The game is very simplistic, but you must have a lot of patience, as two to three shots can kill you. That is also the same for the enemies. As far as I can tell, it doesn't matter where you hit them. Providing you shoot them three to four times, you will be fine. Unfortunately, the tank moves extremely slow. And boy, when I mean slow, I mean slow. And there is no way you can increase the speed. Also, when you aim from the tank, there is no first person point of view. So don't expect to be inside the tank to aim down your sight. You only have the back view of the tank or further back nothing more. You also have one type of ammunition that never ran out. And when you do get killed in the game, you will take control of one of your squad mate tanks. You only have two. When there is no more tank for you to take control, you will have to restart the game from the very beginning. That means repeating from the very start what you have already done. As autosave is non-existent, you have to finish the mission without dying to unlock the next mission. But there is a serious problem. The game scenario bugs out. If you don't approach the mission in a certain way, the game will not let you progress. For example, in the third mission, I have killed all of the Tiger tanks, but because I approached it from a different angle than the game designer intended, the game didn't register. The game didn't give me my next mission to finish. Just by coincidence, when I was browsing the Steam store of the game, I saw that the creator of the game replied to some reviews, and in one of the reviews explained that there's a bug in the third mission, that I needed to kill the mid panzer tank first before attacking the tigers. Prior to reading this, I repeated the mission more than 5 times. But putting that aside, I managed to progress. Unfortunately, there is more things that is not good about this game. Like the minimap. It doesn't show you where you have to go. You have to pause the game and see where you have to go. Not only that, the game doesn't indicate where you are on the map. So that means you have to look at the map of the game. And you have to look at the minimap to get an idea where you are. On top of all of that, you are driving a very, very, very slow tank. Not to mention on occasion when you fire with the tank, it doesn't hit the target. Not even on point blank. When you drive to too many trees, the game frame rate start to suffer. Also, for some odd reason, when you stop your tank, it begins to dance a little bit. Did you notice I didn't mention anything good about the game yet? The game have great potential. If only the developer have the money and the time to refine this game, like adding a German campaign, and multiplayer. It can be better than World of Tanks, as it is nearly a perfect blend between arcade and realistic tank simulator. But as it stands, the game feels like a tech demo or a proof of concept. So I hate to say this, but the game is poor. It should not be on sale. Don't get me wrong, I like the game and there's something there, but not at this stage. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.